Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity at the 9 o'clock location. We have none other than Fisheye starting as the Teal Protoss. 6 o'clock location, we have Arson starting as the Yellow Terran. You might be complaining about the colors, but it's that or double yellow. I guess I could try a double yellow. It's not like they're... Anyway, this is on Powerbond. Oops, did not mean to pause there. There we go. This is on Powerbond. Big open map. I actually have changed my mind on large open field maps like this, mostly because I've had input from more intelligent players on the matter. Uh, I feel like initial stages, vultures finding stranded dragoons out in the field have that level of strength, but once it gets towards um, two base, three base play, Protoss can start attacking from multiple angles. Are those on fire? Are those like just gasoline barrels just lit there in the corner? so bad for the environment and just an absolute they're all over the place those could explode any second anyway you do have kind of an open third where you can see vultures could be pretty strong on this map regardless although i think <coughs> this is still i think this still ends up being protoss favored which hopefully will suit fisheye because game two got greedy and ended up uh not uh, having a lot of success starcast tv asking what level the hasu league players are they range from about 1700 all the way up to the, I, I believe the finalists in in Hasu League end up being in the 2000 range in most. Basically, okay, explaining the way BSL works, you have Pro League, Pro League are the champs. Uh, they are usually in the 2200 to 2600 range, depending on who they are. I think Mew's like 25 something at the, mom at the moment. You have below that, you have Gosu League, Gosu League is basically all the all the players that didn't manage to make it into uh, into the pro league, and that tends to be like the I don't know 2,000 to 2,200. They're still pretty high, and sometimes can be around the 2,300 range. Um, and then everybody else, everybody that didn't make it into that league ends up here in Hasu League. And Hasu League ends up with a big spread. You end up 1,700 to 2000 chobo league is everybody else and chobo league has a massive spread chobo league you could have people that are as low as 800 and is sometimes as high as like 1850 depending on how they did during the latter stages anyway looks like uh i think i might have missed quick nexus grab right here it looks like it is going to get scouted right away from arson let's see if he ends up responding to it everybody by the way give starcast tv uh a follow a like and subscribe oftentimes i'm <coughs> doing cast for him. My voice is feeling better, by the way, uh, for Stark to let uh, them know in chat. And so hopefully as soon as, if I get time in the near future, I should be able to start picking up the Starcast games again. Factory being built in response. It looks like there is just a single SCV on gas. So I assume that Arson is going to follow up with just the factory into expand. But it looks like that Nexus was snuck. Double gateway cybernetic score being built to try to defend it. As I was talking about it's actually interesting because uh, DeWalt, I believe, was mentioning how he doesn't like 12 Nexus play these days because it forces Protoss into a defensive stance, which just isn't as advantageous given current metas, which I'm, I actually want him to expand on that quite a bit. Anyhow, Marine's really wanting to chase down that probe, maybe feeling that, but... The Zealot actually out there, it looks like he's initially trying to retract, maybe go after... The Marines are out in the field. No bunker being built. So these this Zealot force, even though it's going to be... Is it going to be up against three Marines? No, only two Marines have been constructed. So this Zealot, with the probe to help, just now the bunker starting, probe taking initial hits, and the Marines scrambling, at the very least, getting around the corner of the bunker. Going to have to play ring around the Rosie a little bit. The bunker now being reconstructed, but the Marines, between point A and point B, have a Zealot in the way. Again... Construction being halted. Looks like the Marines microing up to the main. We do have a Vulture being produced along with mines, but already an SCV killed, and that was a, a good amount of delay. Barracks now landing at the natural expansion. It looks like the command center still in construction, so nice economic lead for Fisheye. Dragoons and additional Zealots making their way out. Granted, I don't think range has been upgraded as of yet. I guess we'll have to see once they make their way to the natural expansion mines being built as well so with no siege tank to support actually two dragoons and two zealots on the front this could be a, a significant threat robotics facility also being constructed 
it is possible with the Dragoons not moving up. No, they're just going to go for it. Shooting the gap. The Vulture is now going to have to blockade that edge. One Vulture already down. Some mines being planted. That's causing the Vulture to die immediately. And now Fisheye with an attack force in the main, forcing a lot of SCVs to pull. Massive pull. Getting some good disruption on one of the Dragoons. One of the Dragoons split off to the north. The Zealot's already mixing it up against the SCVs. Some nice defense from the SCVs themselves, able to wipe that out and mitigate some of these losses, but this is a lot of lost mining time. More SCVs pulling off, and there's more kills to, to be made. First siege tank being built, and the Dragoon's just going to walk their way into the corner. The two Marines trying to do what damage they can against the Dragoons with the SCVs, creating some body surface area, but look at all of this lost mining time. This was already against an economic deficit. <coughs> so first... Dragoon's out. The additional Dragoon also it just has to dance around. Finally, the SCV is starting to mine again. Marine is going to win that fight, but it's heavily damaged. That leaves no Marine... Oh, sorry, one Marine now left in the bunker. Siege tank moving out to the front. Range is now upgrading, which allowed a much faster robotic facility and Citadel of a Dune, so I'm wondering if we're going to see a DT drop to follow this up. Observer also being constructed. More Dragoons making the way out. But I was about to say that siege tank was going to be low, which was going to make defense a little bit more challenging. But Arson now at a massive economic deficit. The Vulture has managed to sneak all the way around. Fisheye might... Let's see if that Vulture moves a little bit more forward. Because if it does, it could stop an additional expansion from being built. But it looks like it's not going to find that probe on its way out. However, there's no defense at the natural expansion if this Vulture just makes its way a little bit further out. Dragoons making their way back to the front. I don't know if they missed some mine shots or not, but wow, Fisheye actually opting to go for, I assume, two base Arbiter. As a quick follow-up here, no Templar Archives as of yet, but we do have the Stargate being constructed. Double, Yeah, there's the Templar Archives. So interesting follow-up play from him. Vulture currently camping at the third, but it looks like a third potentially ready to be grabbed by Fisheye with that probe on location. Fisheye in a strong position now with a great worker lead, a huge supply lead at early stages and also just all of that economic damage early. Siege tank with siege tech finishing, three siege tanks on the front. So Arson has to feel a little bit more comfortable, has tacked on additional finery. I'm wondering if he's gonna go something like Vulture Drop to try to equalize things. But Fisheye going, wants to go, it looks like, right for the jugular because he is making a very fast push to Arbiter. Maybe counting on the fact that Academy would be skipped and maybe there would be a little bit late, less latent detection. Plus one weapons being upgraded to third factory being added for Arson. Observer wandering, finding a nice pocket to first of all get a look at the factory count but also check out the defenses the entire way in. Seeing the, getting a good look at the siege tank count overall, additional Nexus now being grabbed upon seeing the fact that it's three factories rather than five. Fisheye playing very on the ball at this stage. And that observer being in here is gonna, is just providing him all sorts of information. Mines along that corner, just in case there was a reaver follow up. Did that observer see the vulture? I'm not sure that it saw that vulture along that corner. Fisheye has opened up a massive supply lead. Now range finished, upgrading stasis as well. I would not be shocked once he has this initial arbiter out if he just walks it up towards Arson's natural expansion and just basically seals him in. Could take the entire map from here. The observer wandering out. I think this is just to check additional expansions to make sure that nothing else was grabbed. The vulture revealing itself. Top left-hand corner might be able to get a probe kill. A few Dragoons dedicating their way up that direction. So at least able to get the probe to delay a pylon wall, maybe some cannons. But not able to get a lot else accomplished. Third command center from Arson. Off three factories. This is a very optimistic command center. Because keep in mind, on power bond, these are very wide open areas. So you need to have a good troop count to defend that and your natural expansion to really have. And you can see yeah, the observers confirming from Fisheye that nothing else is snuck out here. It looks like a vulture there to make sure that a fourth wasn't grabbed from Fisheye at an odd location. So I'm not sure. I'm, he's got to be comfortable feeling 
30 supply lead right now. Cross map position, you gotta be feeling great if you're fisheye in this scenario. Science facility being constructed, commsat station also being upgraded. And this is, it looks like finally some additional factories being tacked on and yeah, so a flood of factories on the hope that that third through a flood of troops will be able to, you can just push out and grab it. And this is, this is really gonna put Arson in a situation where he's running I mean, he's pushing, he's going to be pushing the pedal on gas that he doesn't have, is really what it comes down to. The observer does get wiped out, but not before it sees all of those. You wanted that uh, earlier, before the seven factories were being dropped. So se seven factories, command center's up. It could be that he's just thinking about a seven factory push at this stage. <coughs> but... I don't know, I, it might be too little too late. If he was gonna pull that, it might've wanted to do that before he constructed that command center. Arbiter's up, recall is researching. Observer near that third, also near that front. Plus two weapons, sorry, plus one armor right there. Plus two weapons being upgraded. Command center being floated out. But it's at this stage that fisheye could really, yeah, you just look how much space he can walk up and engage against a uh, moving army from Arson. Arson's gonna have a lot of trouble trying to walk an army to get in position to grab that third. And on top of that, that's going to also create some time where I think there's an Arbiter already out. I'm not sure where it's located right this second. Definitely not out in the front, but there's also a, that recall energy which is being upgraded. The Observer missing the initial troop movement though, and Arson able to grab a lot of that position early. It looks like Fisheye not really engaging this. Or if he is kind of wholesale a little bit late. Yeah, miss. he had an opportunity to really harass that. Instead, just letting it happen, choosing a different angle. Observer is gonna get knocked out and that is gonna allow that command center to float out and Arson to go ahead and cap that third base. Still, that's a 40 supply lead. Looks like Fisheye thinking of taking yet another base. He's got that Arbiter out building energy. Recall is finished. I swear there, there it is. I think that Arbiter gonna make its way out, maybe go for a recall in the main, over the factory lines potentially, because again, Arson is very overextended. Mo so looking at the troop count, you've got all the troops here, one siege tank there, one siege tank here. And getting from here all the way back to the main is a large distance to travel. Arbiter making its way out. This could be an, a brutal recall. Plus, there's a 50 supply lead from Fisheye. He has the troops to expend. Also building additional nexus behind this. Now, there are a wall of missile turrets, so it's possible they might be able to wipe them out before that recall lands. It looks like not, however. Recall finishes... Vultures scrambling their way back, but might be a little bit outnumbered. Fisheye does have to reposition the troops. And the other thing is, is it, let's see if he goes for a combo attack. And after this, re-engages at the natural expansion. One factory down, some supply depots taken out as well. Looks like they're mostly just going to get some supply depots and turrets. But that does, and it looks like at the very least, no SCVs seem to have been lost, but Arson's still sitting at a very low 46 count at the 13 minute mark, where Fisheye is mining everywhere and well saturated, except in that upper right hand base, which he's not yet grabbed. So massive amount of territory. The Observer is also sitting here and it's, I mean, that's a, another prime attack location. The Dragoons have backed off. It looks like the Vulture is starting to swing out. They want to try to make something happen, but they're immediately being intercepted. Probes trying to transfer. This is an at-risk space to those vultures. The dragoons piling their way out. They do have an observer alongside. These, these probes vary at risk, actually. It looks like they're trying to make their way top right. Vultures have found them. So going to be able to at least wipe out the second grouping. Dragoons trailing. Making their way top left as well. The dragoons well behind. And it looks like a couple of them eating some mines along the way. 
We do have a cannon to defend there. It looks like another vulture got a little bit too, at least able to shut down a little bit of mining here. Arsa now moving out on that seven factory count off the three bases with level two weapons, level one armor. I think recognizing that Fisheye had a, has a big economic lead. Finding nothing there, dropping another commsat. The thing is, is, if he moves too far out of position, he could get counterattacked. And as I say that, missed a recall here at the main. This time, SEV's getting wiped out. And that was with a bunch of siege tanks moving top right out of position. So doing a lot of damage. Again, still a 40 SCV count for Arson. SCV's trying to defend themselves against Zealots near that turret line. Observer here, looks like that turret was at least able to take that Arbiter out. All of the Siege Shanks now back in the main. More Dragoons making their way across. And Fisheye now at over double the supply of Arson. Arson does, he has built a fourth base, but it's very risky for him to take it. Arbiter might have been spotted by those mines. Arbiter kind of having some trouble deciding what direction it's going to head. Fisheye grabbing another expansion upper left. At the very least he has, uh, looks like some clutter out on the front to help provide some defense, but this is a pretty measly siege tank count for the 17 minute mark. And this is a massive army from Fisheye starting to move out of the base. Although, it, well, his gateway count's pretty decent. No gateways in the upper right-hand corner yet, though, for the refugee style. Everything piling to the 3 o'clock. Maybe to go for a follow-up recall on the 3rd. The Siege Tank's moving out to maybe grab a 4th. But yeah, finding no resistance. The Siege Tank's now completely repositioning to go ahead and defend that 3rd. And again, this was Arthson wanting to take the 4th on top of it. Still, there's a good solid... St oh, and those Siege Tanks are clumped up. There's GG from Arson recognizing that with the stasis, he wasn't going to be able to defend that expansion. Fisheye will advance to the final match. And that will be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for